Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some unconfirmed villains that could possibly be in Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Now, like I said, they are unconfirmed. So these are just theories, but I think it would make a lot of sense if they were in this game and not in sequels. If you haven't already, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on videos like this in the future. Let's go ahead and start with the obvious here. Now, I don't think this villain is going to be in this game particularly but i think they are i think we're gonna see them at the end of the game or in the dlcs and that is of course green goblin i this is how i think it's gonna play out with the green goblin i think whatever happens to harry in this i think it's gonna push norman into doing something to cause him to turn into the green goblin and i think they're gonna play it out like they played out venom at the end of spider-man and spider-man miles morales i think at the last cut scenes we're gonna see little glimpses of him turning into the goblin and then at the last final second we're gonna see him change that's my theory um there's nothing concrete about this but we know norman is a little bit a little bit sus so i think he's gonna be i think the goblin is gonna be in insomniac spider-man 3 for sure but i think we're gonna see him at the end of this one as well now for our next villain coming up i think we're going to be able to see calypso now if you don't know who calypso is calypso is craven's love interest in the comics um i know calypso specifically from spider-man 2 and looking at her in ultimate spider-man i never read any of the comics where calypso fought against spider-man so i'm not 100 sure what she's about all i know is she was a secret boss in spider-man 2 and she didn't really do anything in ultimate spider-man but they could easily throw her into this i mean she is craven's love interest maybe something happens where you know you were fighting craven and calypso pops up at the last second and says hey bub you're not going to be fighting my man i mean that it, it's as simple as that now we possibly saw a screenshot of her that's a theory of mine anyways it's not confirmed by any means but that most recent screenshot of peter fighting with the black suit and using his tentacles to surround this woman I, that could very easily be calypso i mean we only see the back side of this character it could very well easily be just another plain goon but they could easily be doing a nod for calypso i think calypso is going to be in the game to be honest i really do Coming up next, we have Vermin. Now, Vermin is a very unique character. I know very little of Vermin, but from what I've read about Vermin, uh, it's a very tragic and a very uh, eerie character. Vermin's most popular appearance was in Kraven's Last Hunt, which I would love to see in Spider-Man 2. I don't, you know, that's not confirmed either, but we did see some variant covers in the comic industry where they redid Kraven's Last Hunt, the comic cover, and replaced it with Insomniac's Spider-Man suit, which I think is pretty cool. So maybe that's a little nod showing that, you know, there's going to be a Craven's Last Hunt storyline implemented into the story. That is not concrete, but I think they should because that is an amazing story. If you don't know what that story is, this is going to be a little bit of spoiler territory, but it is where Craven does capture Spider-Man and practically buries him alive. And as he does that, he takes Spider-Man's suit and fights a spider-man and he goes hunting for vermin i think he's trying to prove that he is the better hunter the better fighter the better spider-man and he learns that that is not the case but he does succeed at technically killing spider-man and he kills himself at the end of that i don't know how you know how dark they're gonna make it if they do implement that into the story maybe i should do a video on that to be honest with you but nonetheless, it would be really cool to see. And Vermin is really sad. I mean, Spider-Man and Kraven are both hunting for this creature in the sewers. And Kraven beats the holy shit out of him. Beats the holy crap out of him. And he is terrified. And Spider-Man has to help, you know, that poor little creature. Which I can't remember the actual person who turns into Vermin. That's besides the point. But Spider-Man has to help uh, get rid of Kraven. So... Vermin could very easily be into the main story, or he could be like a side story or a DLC, who knows? But I think Vermin could very easily be in this game. Now let's go ahead and talk about some honorable mentions as well before I go over the last two. Now, I kind of want to see Silver Sable back. It's not confirmed. I didn't see anything in the trailers. I know Craven had that tablet of different villains throughout New York City, but guess what? Silver Sable 
is not from New York City, so she wasn't on there. But I would love to see Silver Sable come back. Um, you know, here's the thing. Silver Sable and Venom have a lot of close ties. I know in the most recent comic, Venom Lethal Protector 2, Silver Sable and Venom does team up. And I've seen, I mean, even in the Ultimate Spider-Man game, you see Silver Sable trying to capture Venom. I could see Silver Sable coming back, getting hired by say Norman or someone else trying to capture the symbiote. And hell, if they make Venom a playable character, maybe we'll have to fight against Silver Sable again. I think that'd be really cool. And it's not confirmed, just an honorable mention. I'd love to see her come back. Another honorable mention, though, is the characters that were on Coney Island. Uh, well, the names of them, anyways. That was Speed Demon, Big Wheel, and uh, someone else. Honestly, I can't remember from the top of my head. I did see Big Wheel and the Speed Demon. Uh, those might be just Easter eggs, but it'd be fun to see them too. Maybe that is just a little nod that, hey, there's going to be a side story of those characters as well. Now, this is also another honorable mention, considering it's not really a villain, but it might be a villain if you get to play as Venom, and that's Logan. Now, we do know Insomniac is working on a Wolverine game, and maybe what if there was a side quest where you were playing as Venom and you have to hunt and you encounter Wolverine. I know in Ultimate Spider-Man, that was one of my favorite boss fights where you end up throwing Logan's bike and Wolverine's mad pissed and tries to kick your ass. Unfortunately for Logan, uh, Wolverine's no one to mess with and he totally smacks the absolute crap out of Logan. Now, that's just an honorable mention. I think maybe we might see a little nod to that considering they are working on a game, but it might not be a villain that you have to fight. It'd be cool all the same though. Now guys, for these last two villains, I can totally see these being in the game. Uh, preferably the number two. Number one is the one I hope to see more. But number two, we have Carnage. Now, Spider-Man 2 is about Venom. And when it comes to the two, Venom is the top dog. But I personally do not want to see Carnage in a sequel. I don't want to see Carnage in a sequel. This is the symbiote game. Let's have the symbiotes in this game and leave them out of the others. You know what I mean? So it could be very possible to see Carnage in this, whether that be a DLC or a side. I, I could see it being a DLC, to be honest with you. After the main story, maybe something happens with the Venom symbiote and mixes with Cletus Cassidy or something and turns into Carnage. Now they could very easily just make it to where Carnage came from outer space as well. Maybe a second meteor crashed on the earth and maybe another company found it and is using it as an experiment. You know, we have Venom that was being held, this Venom symbiote being held by Oscorp, maybe Trask Industries or someone else entirely is holding the Carnage symbiote. I can see that being very plausible and you know, if you defeat Venom at the end of Marvel Spider-Man 2, if he doesn't become some sort of hero or something all entirely, maybe you're playing as Peter or maybe you're playing as Venom 2 and you see another symbiote. I, I think that is very possible. I just, I don't want to see another symbiote in another Spider-Man game. Like I said, this, let this be the symbiote game and let the third one, if they're going to make at least one more, let that be the goblin entry or something. Now, for the last villain that I think is very possible is Chameleon. Now, if you all don't know who Chameleon is, I, for one, do some research because Chameleon's awesome. But he is the first actual villain that Spider-Man encounters in The Amazing Spider-Man. He is in the first issue of The Amazing Spider-Man. And if you don't know this already, he is Kraven's brother. So if we defeat Kraven at the end of Marvel Spider-Man 2, I can totally see Chameleon coming in to play some games as well. Maybe he starts acting like Spider-Man and puts bad press on Spider-Man, something. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I think if there's any of these villains that could be in Marvel Spider-Man 2, I think it's gonna be Chameleon. Obviously, Green Goblin too, but Chameleon, out of all the other ones, Chameleon is that top dog, and Chameleon is badass. I mean, he can beat anyone around you and you not even know it. This is just a thought, but maybe Kraven gets arrested at the end of Marvel Spider-Man 2, and for the DLC, Chameleon comes in and breaks Kraven out of the raft. Maybe the Chameleon disguises himself as someone important high up in the raft and breaks Kraven out, and you have to go against Kraven and Chameleon at the same time. I think that'd be pretty cool. Those are five villains that I'd like to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2. These aren't confirmed, but it is very possible they could be in the game, as well as some honorable mentions. 
Now, if there's some villains you'd like to see in the game that you think would be possible, please list those names down in the comments below. And please drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos in the future. And until next time, take it easy, bubs.